headed to Lisbon for the maiden voyage on my side-by-side, -side, Lisbon, New Hampshire. Beautiful day, huh?
All right, so I just put 40 miles of my first side-by-side -side maiden miles on up here in Lisbon, New Hampshire on the rail trail. Lisbon, Littleton, Woodsville. I went up and down a couple of times. Beautiful trail, uh, very chill, pretty much hard pack. Um, definitely a challenge for a 64 inch. Um, you got gates every mile or so and you gotta crawl through it. I had to take my fender flares off in the back because I couldn't make it. And uh, I could just make it with about a half inch on either side. I could keep this flare on, but it was the part right here. Literally, it was a half inch too large on, or too wide on either side. So I drove four hours just to kind of break this thing in, get used to it, and I, I just definitely said, I'm gonna ride. So I took the flares off, no problem. Really enjoy this thing. Crazy power. This is a Turbo R, uh, 172 horsepower. Some of you guys got crazy horsepower, but for the trails up here, this is uh, pretty darn good. So really enjoying it. Love the views. It's during the week. What's today? Today is Wednesday. There are like two other guys on the trails, a couple people walking their dog, one guy fishing. I mean, there's waterfalls. You're all along the river the whole time. It's, uh, it's very, very cool. So if you haven't ever come up here before, check it out. Bunch of little restaurants, plenty of fuel stops, not that you need much. I'm just up here breaking it in, getting a feel for it. Really love the X3. I have not tuned the shocks yet. I know a little bit about shocks, not a ton on side-by-sides, but I didn't do the Fox tune yet because I wanted to see how it rode. But not a really a challenging trail at all. So I just wanted to see what it felt like so far. The front gets really light when you punch it. So I could see I have to do something with that a little bit. Probably raise the um, clearance just a hair like everybody else does. But uh, really happy with it. So what did I do? I put Simpson harnesses on. These are two inch because some of the feedback I got from people was a three inch hit your helmet. So I'm, I'm happy with this so far. That's your own, you know, your own choice. I got the clip ins. I felt that that would be easier for cleaning a clip right out. You know, you just flip that lever back. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Comes right off. Goes right back on. I put the flare kit on, the fenders, put the nerf bars on, rock knockers. I'm glad I have those. I can tell there's a lot of gravel on this trail. I'm happy with it. So I got the Lynx carrier rack, the spare tire, the Can-Am bumper on the back and the Can-Am bumper on the side. I'm sorry, on the front, can't have a bumper on the front. Put the 4500 winch on there. And I put some cheap mirrors on. I actually like the way they look. You know, that's obviously opinion, but for 50 bucks, I figured if I broke them or I didn't like them, not a big deal. I could always get another pair. And uh, so far, they're good. And I like that, how I can move them different ways. They're flexible. You can move them. They got a spring in them. And I threw that bag in there. Not really sure what I'm using it for yet. Uh, I definitely need to figure out how to carry stuff. So I'm considering those options. And then don't have a windshield yet. So I really want to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Whether I'm going to do a half windshield, full glass, But this looks like another disease you can get into, man. It just keeps sucking you into it. And I love every mini of it so far. Having a blast. I'm looking forward to some cool adventures with some great people. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, appreciate it if you do. Give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And until next time, enjoy your adventures. Happy feet.
What do we have in this trailer? What do we have? 